Um, hi guys, welcome back. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm down here in the local park at the moment. I'm not anywhere out in the wild at the moment. Um, I'm down in the local park. Uh, silky. Do you know Silky Sauce? Yeah, I want to say thanks to Jarno and Silky Saw in Holland. I um, sent him an email and says that um, I'm, um, I'm doing some bushcraft on my YouTube channel and if you'd like to supply me with till um, I would promote it. So here I am, Silky Saw. So thanks again, Silky. Um, everybody knows these saws, they're absolutely brilliant. So I also sent to Holtiverse, um, Ireland, about uh, an axe, but he didn't get back to me in time and then he did get back with real positive feedback. So look, I'm going to show you both tools now, um, the Silky Gone By 240 and the Holtifers 008 Trekking Axe, okay? So back soon, bye bye. Makes light walk. Yeah. Now, that's hardwood. That's maple. Are you sure? Is that maple, guys? Isn't it? So that's hardwood. So, okay, we went through that. I'm fairly impressed with that now, I have to say. And my nose dry and everything. And the way you use it is you pull it. You pull it, it got too soft, and then just like that, here's another big piece, right? So you're pulling, and you're saving your energy then, but not having to push. Just slide the through, pull it up. There you go. Make light work of anything, like walk around. So, now have a chat. So that was just a quick look at that. That's this, the silky gone by 240 core. See the way it's curved? Um, that's for hardwood. Still cut through softwood of course. But look, as a saw, pull saw, lightweight, it has this plastic, heavy, it's kind of malleable maybe, but not malleable is the, it's the wrong word, but it's soft. You change the handles in this part stay. So when the blade goes blunt, I'm sure after a lot of years, these are Japanese, and um, you just change the blade. So you keep the handle. So that's a good sign that I made to last, isn't it? Um so yeah, this is the two. So you go around like that, pull it, that one, and you save your energy. Yeah, so I'm quite impressed with that. Um anyways look back soon. I'm just gonna take a look at the axe now, okay? Well, actually, it's the one thing I want to say about this silky. Okay, this is well taught out. See this? It's a hard kind of plastic. Keep it safe, keep your tools safe. And um, it's well taught out, just even off the bat before you even go near the, the saw. So, I'm impressed with that. You see, it just pops in there. And this thing will clip onto your belt and hold on. Because there's a latch at the top there. See them latches there? I'm going to go in there. 
and then once it's pulled on that so attach to your belt and it's look back soon I'm gonna get the axe out okay so guys this is um this is the axe now I put seven coats of linseed oil okay I'm gonna go back now on the video and show you what to do with that oil the reason why you treat it at the moment or before I put the oil on and that was dry and crackly and it will crack wood springs its own way eventually um, unless you oil it moisten it up and stuff okay so that's seven coats of linseed oil I'll go back there now in the video and I'll just show you how to apply that it's not that hard it's just you need you need the time okay so we'll switch now just to show you how to oil that and then we'll come back here on site okay back soon bye bye okay ladies and gentlemen now we have the Hulter first axe everybody knows about this and um, this company has been making these axes for 300 years plus okay it's a mighty thing now this is the basic tracking axe okay okay and um, it's 54 55 euros 60 odd euros shipped okay it's made with a hickory axe handle comes with that sheet there but um i know an upholster up around the road and um, i might go in and see what all cuts he has of leather and then um, i have a rivet gun and i might just uh, make a, a bigger sheet for it okay this needs looking after so what i'm first going to do with this axe I, I'm, I'm going to put on a um, power cord onto the face there. Okay, but first I'm going to oil it. Okay, oh look at that. That's well balanced, isn't it? It just says there. So the oil I'm going to use is this. This is boiled linseed oil. Okay. Look, I want to show you this. This is a, a picture I took of my daughter um, many years ago. And this is oak, okay? So see the color of it after the linseed oil goes on it? I must have, um, I must have um, done about six or eight coats before I ever put this frame in. That's what it was, I was a picture framer. Yeah, I made lots of frames, you know? So um, I treated this about, my daughter was two in that photo, so I treat, I made this about 10 years ago. I think it was the last frame I made before I sold all my framing equipment, um, and it was oak. So I treated it with linseed oil. Um, so look, it's beautiful, it keeps it all. But look, see the corners. When them corners were made, okay, they were all tight in, they were. See, see the little... Um, nails going in there and there all the corners to bind them all together okay but the thing is with oak it does what it wants when they stretch out you know it's like um in ireland we make hurley sticks from ash because it's springy but oak has still got a springiness to it as well and if it doesn't want to go anywhere it won't you know so um okay so we're gonna do the axe there she be hell yeah so we're gonna do the um uh, when i had my workshop my framing shop um an older man came into me one time and he seen me working with the linseed oil and he said to me um when when, when they were young the community they'd get all the the, the younger lads around and they would have them stay in the oak doors in the church and that area and stuff the older buildings and he said they used to have to boil it and he, he said he always remembered the smell they'd have it in a steel pot and he'd be boiling the linseed oil so now i don't know wherever way we can have it boiled already um, 
Anyways, so it's already boiled, so it's all ready to use. Now he did tell me, he said, always put a rag in. They used to put the rags in a steel pot. A steel bucket, he said. He said, because the rags can, can go on fire. <clears throat> so you kind of don't want to burn your place down. So if you're going to use this stuff, keep it in a bucket and then just put it outdoors after you've used it. I'm using it indoors now, so I'll, I'll put it outdoors. So, um, so there you are. So, I mean, you don't actually even need too much of this. The thing is just to spread it. Yeah. See? Now definitely get the top. Come on, hang on. i put it in there now. Definitely get the top done, right? Because I showed you this earlier in, in, in the oak frame. Wood springs out, you know, and um, hardwood springs out and it goes where it wants to go. <laughs> we can we can manipulate and bend it into things, but ultimately that will stretch out. So there we go, right? A nice, nice sheet of oil on it. Now, Whoops, a daisy. I oh, sure look. I'll put a bit on the table as well. Now, just want to rub it on like that. Make sure you get in there. And there are them little grits as well, right? Yeah. doing any work on your axe make sure the sheet is on you get loads of little nicks out of that right so get the oil right in and this side the first this the first of um i'm not, actually do you know what? i'm probably going to try do it twice a day for the next three days four days maybe just just a rest just let it rest in there just let it rest in there and uh, make sure you do the make sure you do the back of it as well okay Get as much oil in there as well. So, wipe it off. Okay, so guys, now I want to protect the face. This from a mist chop. Oh, no, little thing there. From a mist chop. <laughs> Pull them off. Now. So you want to loop down here, because ultimately, you're going to tie that. That's going to pull up. So, we want to about there, we'll be fine. Right. So I've got these ones. You see what I'm doing here? Leave that up. It's okay, I can trim that anyway. But, um, so, so now put that toy and all them toy, and that's a good start. 
nice and tight up to the top. Okay. Keep doing it tight. Pull the thing through. Okay. Now, you pull this, see what happens with this end then. Pull that in under. Right, it's okay, we can get this back, we can walk back to this. I think his credentials are good there. Um, okay, so look, um, thanks for watching. We're going out the weekend. Um, we're going to have dense wood. So we're going to make a good few things. Um, get stuck in. We're going out maybe for two, hopefully three nights. But look, um, thanks for the continued support watching my channel. Really appreciate it. And um, share with your friends. Tell them about us. Okay, take care. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Ciao.